How you doing? All right, today I am working on my 1985 Toyota 4Runner, and it has had some drivability issues. Uh, hard to start, rough, idle, uh, popping, banging, uh, hesitation, no power, uh, just running awful. And uh, I've been kind of going through it and chasing problems with it, getting stuff figured out, and. Uh, show you what I found and might help you uh, fix yours one of these days. So for starters, something to check for is your intake boot that goes right here between the throttle body and this intake tube right here. And as you can see, I silicone mine up just as a temporary thing until my new one showed up. So I've already test fitted it. Uh, I bought this on Amazon. Uh, I wasn't too sure how well it was going to work, but it fit great, and uh, we'll see how long this one lasts. But you can see in this tube, see where the silicone was coming through? Let's see if I can't get better in the light. The silicone was coming through, and uh, what happens is whenever that, whenever this tears, it lets um, excess air trying to set that down it lets excess air in through here right here because that's where that usually that tear is and it its air is basically bypassing your airflow meter uh, and between your airflow meter and your throttle position sensor those two control probably they're the two most important things on here um, that can cause drivability issues so anyway so put a new boot on, um, that'll solve that problem. And another issue that you can look for, and this is a very common problem on these, uh, is your throttle position sensor, where it goes. Mine's currently not on here, I, I took it off. Um, but if you go to trusty manual, it will tell you how to diagnose and check between the pins and, and uh, uh, give you ohm readings. And if you do that, make sure that you switch your meter between kilo ohms. A lot of times whenever you turn a meter on, it'll show regular ohms, mega ohms. Was, you get, make sure you put it on kilo ohms. Uh, and the problem that I had with mine, which I'll show you, I have the new one here and the old one, is if you notice, the new one, Whenever you move it, see, snaps back just fine. And the old one does not. See how that's taking forever to get back? It doesn't even go back all the way. And that just kept giving me awful readings on the meter, and it was just making it drive horrible. Um, so hopefully this new one will, uh, will work out pretty good. I'm sure it will. You do have to adjust it, and it is a very fine-tuned adjustment as long as you follow the instructions in the service manual. Um, so anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get this put on here, and uh, we'll see how it does. Something else to add to this, uh, whenever you want to take off your throttle position sensor, uh, a lot of people say that you have to remove the throttle body, um, and it probably would make it easier, uh, but it's not totally necessary to do that. Um, what I did was I just took a, a little screwdriver bit and a quarter inch ratchet. I'm sorry, not quarter, a quarter inch wrench. And then you have to, you kind of have to finagle your bit down inside of here once you get it, well, once you get it down inside of there, uh, then you just take your wrench, um, and you can, uh, you can crack loose the, uh, the little mounting screw and then take it out by finger. Um, and that's how I did it on mine. Uh, like I said, some people probably just prefer to take the throttle body off. Uh, I didn't want to fool with it cause I didn't want to have to go chase down another gasket. Um, so there's that.